Welcome to another episode of Got Wood. This is my entry to the 2016 Summers Woodworking Birdhouse Challenge. If you'd like to see how I made it, stick around. I started by cutting the plywood for the front, back, and sides for the top and bottom sections of the castle. I'm using half inch plywood for the main structure. The bottom is 16 inches wide by 8 inches tall. The side walls are 8 by 8. The top is 9.5 inches wide by 8 inches tall with 5 by 8 sides. After cutting the pieces to length and width, I measured and drew the lines for the crinnels. These are the innie bits on the wall. The outie bits are called merlins. I bet you didn't expect to learn any medieval architectural terms today. The crinnels and merlins are an inch tall on both the top and bottom sections. On the bottom section, they're two inches wide, but on the top section, they're only an inch and a half wide. After measuring and marking, I went to the scroll saw to cut out the crinnels. At the drill press, I used a one and a half inch forcener bit to make the entry hole. Then after a little sanding to clean up the rough edges, it was time to start assembling the walls. I used corner clamps to help line everything up, then I used wood glue and a few brads to hold everything together while the glue dried. I traced the inside perimeter of the birdhouse onto boards for the tops of both sections and made a bottom for the lower section. Then I cut them using my jigsaw. I held the roof pieces in place using clamps and then secured them with brads using the placement of the clamps to estimate where I should put the brads. I glued the top section to the roof of the bottom section and used a few weights to clamp them together until they dried. While the glue was drying, I got to work on the flag. I cut a five and a half inch section of dowel for the flagpole, and I cut a two and a half by two inch piece of eighth inch plywood for the flag. I took the dowel to the disc sander to sand a flat depression on the end so I could attach the flag. I used CA glue to attach the flag to the pole. I used a Forstner bit that was about the same size as the dowel to drill a hole for the flag. I secured the flag to the roof of the castle using CA glue and some quick activator. I decided to secure the bottom using screws so I'd have easy access to clean the birdhouse each season to get it ready for new tenants. And then it was time for paint. After the paint dried, I started marking out guides for drawing the brick pattern. The bricks are 2 inches wide by 1 inch high. I drew them using a pencil and a straight edge as a guide, and then came back and went over them with a black sharpie. To finish it off, I drew a star on the flag with a red sharpie. So you may have noticed I didn't stay completely true to the one in the game. I left out a few doors and windows. I didn't want any confused little birds to go wily coyoting into the front of the thing. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks uh, very similar to the one from the game. Um, I'd like to thank Brian for putting on this challenge again this year. I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.